Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Skies. Uh, we appear to be in the middle of a firefight right now between a Takati and a Dreadnought. I'm sure it'll be fine. What are we doing? Ah, we're back with Dr. Singh. If you haven't seen the last episode, it's I do the intro to the game. It, you don't really have to watch it. It isn't part of my numbered series. It was just something I wanted to do so people could see it. But here... But we found Magdalene's. He's getting close. We found Magdalene's. And there's been an update. Survival update. I'll go into more of the things that happened in the survival update. In a bit. But the new Winchester has changed, which is one of the big ones. But uh, you see a little bit of that in the last episode. But first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go to the House of Small Comfort. I don't know if I've done the quest for the man. I can't remember his name. Uh, it's a very obvious name, but it doesn't matter. Well, because I'm about to read it, but I can't remember if I've done it here. But I know you can get free terror reduction and some other stuff the first time you come here, but I can't remember if this is the first time. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Magdalene's is the closest thing many Skyfarers have to a home. It offers services to alleviate the strain of life spent too close to the stars. Well, first thing we'll do is uh, write a port report. Magdalene's is abuzz with activity. Barely has the clock chimed than a clamour goes up in at the front desk. Guests rushing to and from appointments. Lord Blank was seen in conversation with the amenable host. The East Wing was closed for general access all day. A certain distinguished admiral was seen with his second in command entering one of the chambers of regret. Several guests succumbed to the excess of sentimentality and were forcibly removed. Read that a few times, but meh. We don't really need to fix our terror, but our nightmares. Now our nightmares are getting a little bit out of control. So let's see if we can do something about it. I think the first one was free. The attendant purses his lips when you finish. This is a case of some severity. Follow me. His golden hair catches in the reflected light as he leads you along a tunnel of silvered glass. Our most skilled staff work in these rooms. Some trained actors lacking suitable stages in the wilderness. Other former employees of the parlour in Old London. He fumbles with a set of keys before pulling open a set of heavy bronzewood doors. It's best to isolate the noise. Now, here we are. In these sombre chambers of red and gold painted glass, the worst failings of the heart are treated. Weak sobbing can be heard behind closed doors. Huddled figures lurk behind the stained glass. The attendant's candle gutters, sending shadows skittering through the hallways. He sets his candle down on a little table before a long hallway and turns to you. Whoever you need, you can find behind one of these doors. I have done this before, and I apologise if I've read all this stuff before, but eh, I like reading it. It, remi it makes me remember. It was a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> yawn. A renewed majesty. Yes. Really. Let's do that one. You have been invited to a garden party at the palace. You were escorted to the lawn by a senior footman. When you were introduced to a social climbing duchess and a disgraceful viscount, or Viscount, you exchange witticisms together while a footman refills your glasses. The peal of a single trumpet interrupts your conversation. You and the other guests are shepherded into a line as her enduring majesty passes by. She favours you with a wintry gaze before proceeding to more important guests in the Marquis. Am I not an important guest? I think I might be hurt. You've lost one nightmares. So now we're down to two. And I think if you want to go again, you need unlicensed charts. Can we do the meeting with the amenable host? Intendant escorts you through the dazzling bar. I've definitely read this a million times. Uh, let me just read this quickly. I'm pretty sure this is where he sends me off to try and find one of his many... ...past lives. Uh, it's uh, Buttermelly in Candlelight. He seems there's a guest. Uh, oh no, we have to get rid of a man who's been here for too long. 
wow, I really have never met this man before. I, should I start reading this? Uh, he'll be okay. He gives us a dossier. We go and find the man. And then we have to solve it. Uh, deal with the lachrymose guest. He stands on the threshold of the treatment chambers, his hands trembling. The attendants on duty have been briefed as to your involvement. How do you plan to deal with him? So we can either just go up to him and tell him to get out, uh, disguise yourself as his mother, and then tell him to get out, and uh, disguise yourself as his lover. We're going to approach him directly. The lachrymose guest's eyes widen as you approach. Has there been a problem? You invite him to sit. Stiff brandies are ordered. You recount your own share of heartbreaks and tragedies, how you found yourself here, and you make clear that despite all that, you will be leaving. He nods slowly, and after a quick shake of your hand, walks away toward the station. He does not look back. Wonderful. And <laughs> get out! Let's uh, return to the host. He escorts us through the corridors. Let's tell him we got rid of his guest. 100 sovereigns. Uh, smiles weekly, of course. He breathes out a sigh. Do visit us again. Uh, but let's visit him again. I'm pretty sure he gives us another quest. Here we go. Listen to his request. I admired your decision earlier, he smiles. You have seen the dangers of our work upon those who purchase our services, yet we can suffer a similar blurring of the self. He draws your attention to several paintings on the walls. My regulars have at various points requested that I be a prospector on Lustrum, heir to a fine house in Port Prosper, and a titan of industry on New Winchester. I have vivid memories of all three, yet all cannot be true. Surely. He presses a locket into your hand. It be This bears my image. See if anyone remembers me. So we can go to Lustrum, New Winchester, or Port Prosper to hand this quest in and like, it, 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 make it go. Progress it. That's the word I was after. Wow. Uh, I think we are done here. So we are. I'm going to go to New Winchester. We're going to explore New Winchester. I have fuel. Uh, some of the things that have changed now. Uh, when you find a new port, you get 20 reduction uh, to your terror. I don't know if Magdalene's counted because technically I had already found it. Can I? get involved here? Oh, I think the Dreadnought won. Wonderful. Magdalene's, we should stop there. Nope, we've already stopped there, dearest aunt. So, we're gonna go back to New Winchester. What was I saying? God damn combat. Oh dear, it's a dead end. I still don't really know where I'm going. Yes, you get reduced terror for new ports when you get there. Uh, one time only, first time you find it, sort of a... They put it as like a relief, which kind of makes sense. Like, you've been out in the wilderness, you find a new place, you're like, Oh god, thank god, we're not going to die. Uh, I feel that relief myself. And there's now low crew problems. If you don't have enough crew to man your vessel, you get... Like, people are clumsy and they, they mess stuff up. Swiftly. There's nothing here. Basically, you can check. I know there's a big gap there, I was thinking. You can check what the manning is for the ship. But I don't know how. Because I know I can carry 12. But I don't know what the minimum manning is. It says it's in the possessions tab? But of the train. I don't know, basically. I, I couldn't see it. I had a quick look before I started the episode, but... Oh, there's my efficiency. The more I carry, the the more the fuel efficiency goes down, the more you carry. That was the last update. I'm just terrible at spotting these things. Hopefully this will lead us... Yeah, this will lead us to New Winchester. And we can see if there's anything interesting around here. I really want to find Lustrum. I'm going to do the Amenable Hosts quest in, Lon in London. In Lustrum. Because I've never been there. I'm obsessing over Lustrum. I really want to find it. But first of all, I need to explore New Winchester. 
Marauders prowl, prowl these glades to demonstrate their defiance. Ah, yes, great. Marauders. I had a uh, really fun experience the other day when... Uh, I say fun. I say fun in a very ironic way. It seems as more people watch these videos, more people comment on the videos, and I love it. I love people to comment, even if it's just like, Hi! Good video! Or, you know, Oh, you did this, you idiot. What are you doing? This is how you do it. But every now and again you get a comment, and you're just like, That's just hurtful. Why are you saying that? You're just being an ass. And I've never understood why the internet is the way that it is nowadays. It's really strange. It's like a personal attacks on me. Like somebody complained that I couldn't read. I was like, mm, I can read, okay. Oh, let's... Really swiftly. <laughs> Terror last. I don't read very well when I'm playing the game because I'm not a public speaker. I've never been a public speaker. I'm not very good at reading it and saying it. Normally I read it and it goes in my head and I'm like, oh yeah, brilliant. Plus, the words they use in this game are not normal words. You don't see these every day, so my brain goes, oh, I don't know what that is. I just stumble over my words and things. It just seems a little unfair to... Like, by all means, if you think you can do it better than me, do it. I'm not going to stop you. It's up to, it's up to them. But it's just weird. It just... I guess I'm going to have to get used to people saying things like this. And it doesn't really bother me. I know I brought it up in the episode, but that's because like, I want to highlight the fact that it does happen. Just because I'm... On the internet doesn't mean you can be a... You wouldn't say it to my face. Well, at least I, you might say it to my face. More power to you if you would say it to my face. But I've kind of gone a bit of a tangent. But it just... I don't know. It just seems not nice. And I, I, I just remember a time when people were nice to each other on the internet. I suppose I'm, I'm... I'm a lot older than a lot of people think I am. I'm not... I'm not like a teenager. Let's put it that way. But yeah, my reading skills are not brilliant. They're not terrible, but they're not brilliant. And I fully admit to that, they've got better. And really, these, these are people who are commenting on videos that are really old. It's not like the core audience that watch everything, which I love, I, you guys are the best. Like, the comment on everything, tell me some of the dumb stuff I do on a daily basis. I find it funny, and I don't mind, it's brilliant. Just, ugh, some people, some people just annoy me. It's like, why did you say that? Say something constructive. Constructive criticism is the best kind of criticism. And I will accept it without any... Ooh, it was crushed. Without any problems. If I'm doing something wrong and it's obvious, please tell me. I don't mind. Just do it in a way that's not... You're a dick. <laughs> Basically. How do we get around here? Victory... Ah, oh, I see coming out on the other side. I am getting distracted. I know I am. It's fine. I'm going off on some weird tangent about how people saying nasty things on the internet is bad. I'm not, I'm not used to the internet. I'm not a big social media user, which is a surprise. One day I just woke up and I was like, I'm going to make YouTube videos. <laughs> I already had all of the equipment from other things I did. And I was just like, oh, let's go. Let's do it. I'm going to have a full-time job as well, which means I don't put all of my time into this. My, my actual day job is sitting in front of a computer. I, had, I talked about it before, I think, but I, I uh, braille. I do braille. I make stuff across your, all of your weird stuff. I make the thing that makes the impression on the carton that makes the braille, if that makes any sense. If it does, congratulations, because you know more about it than I do. But uh, I don't. I'm not a public speaker for a living or anything like that. I'm not uh, some PR or HR or anything like that. I'm just a normal guy who likes to play video games badly, mostly badly. Some games really good. Most games, really bad. <laughs> but yes, we're at New Winchester. Let's see what's changed. I know, obviously, they've got rid of those two places. Uh, I literally just looked at their names. Company Hall and the other one, the Tackety one. But uh, I think everything else is roughly the same. I think we're going to do those repair the damn locomotive. Holy repair, 53. I do apologise for the giant uh, tangent there. Just, uh, I don't know. I felt like I needed saying. I don't know why. Nobody ever listens. I'm a tiny YouTube channel. It doesn't matter. I kind of want to find Mr. Morangi. Morangi, because I want to know. If I can get somebody to replace the bat. A, a pet to replace the bat. 
The poster at the station has been torn down and there is no sign of Mr. Moranji itself. Itself, okay. Cowled fingers lurk in the fog. Figures, not fingers. That's all. <laughs> After my tangent of not being able to read. Brilliant. Cowled figures lurk in the fog, but none have a collection of adorable little beasts. The station master waves you over. Mr. Moranji has left a note for you. Where is he? Somewhere old, somewhere new. We go to the Master's Obelisk, where you have made into a gaudy amusement. So that's at, uh, Monty and Plentifuls, whatever it's called. I'm having one of those days where I'm really tired. I'm not very good at talking when I'm really tired. Was it Pl Polymer and Plenties? There we go. Yeah, <laughs> got it. I think, I hope. Uh, <laughs> let me explore the city. Learn about trading. Is it the promise of days? How does go the war? Uh, it does control the reach. The assembly runs New Manchester from Victory Hall. That makes sense. Okay. Just curious. Uh, is there anything new at the bazaar? Hours for the lead beater and stain rod nature reserve. You want five barrels of hours. I don't think I have barrels of hours, but I'll take it anyway. Uh, bu -bu 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 bank. Oh, I have. <laughs> I've got loads. I could do that. I don't really need to do that. I'm gonna wait because I want to do a little bit of exploration. I've I've literally wasted twenty minutes just talking about crap at the moment. Uh, carrying around extra stuff I don't need is not good because it's going to weigh me down. I suppose they've snuck in any new uh, locomotives while I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Why do I not own that? kind of want it. No, I mustn't. What the f- Oh, it's the weight. Oh, you received no change. So it's it's basically the same as what I have, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep what I have because I like this dreadnought. It's really nice. Um Fuel. Victoria Market, there we go. Let's just let's stock up a little bit. Big question is where do we want to explore? There is the quest to find Pontimi... Plant... <laughs> Polymer and Planties, there we go. I'm going to leave that noise in there just for you lovely people. Uh, completely lost my mind. There we go. Literature, do I have literature? Three, four, five. Sweet, let's go find Polymer and Planties. East, North, East. East. Here, right? Get, my, get the compass. Get the compass. I have to click on something over here. What's new in OneNote? Go away. The secret is that I use OneNote to keep all my notes. Uh, north. Was it north? Northeast? Oh, bloody hell. Mm -hmm. East. Northeast. Oh, so it's more of a diagonal, so it's kind of here. Let's go, let's see if we can find it. We'll just go we're just gonna go. I have like ten minutes. God, this this ship seems so big. After the last episode where I had the tiny little ship that you start with, I was like, oh man, it's Diddy, and now this thing seems huge and lumbering and kinda hard to control. Man, the new reach looks so nice. They've done such a good job on updating all of these areas and making them all kind of match the same aesthetic. It's, it's crazy. I've never been this way, so there's a good chance we're going to get lost. There's probably going to be some sort of wind. <laughs> there's always wind when it needs to... When I need to go somewhere, they always put a giant windstorm in between me and where I need to be. Trapitsto's hurry. I hope I said that right. 
Hmm. Nothing's going on. <laughs> What's this? It's like a giant... Oh god, I keep pressing W and cancelling out my cruise control. I'm all over the place today. I'm kind of excited because uh, Fallout 76 has come out. And I was one of those idiots who bought the pit boy. I just can't. Spores flow, but carrying an aimless breeze. The hybrid wings. Oh, I'm near hybrid. Hybris. Yeah, I bought the pit boy because I'm, I'm weird and I want to put it together. Like right now. It's behind me. It's, it's right next to me. Should put a picture of it somewhere on like Instagram or I don't have Instagram, YouTube. <laughs> Twitter. Twitter it is. If you want to see it, find, find me on Twitter. Please follow me on Twitter. I'm begging you. I'm begging all of you. Please, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter. I love you all. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. I'm very close. I never thought I would get more than 10. When I first started doing this, I was doing videos for about a few months. Zero subscribers or so. I had a few friends who were like, oh, I'll subscribe to you. It'll be fun. Now the one's got 100 people. You put 100 people in a room. Like, it's nothing compared to the kings of YouTube with their 70 million. But that's not really. Oh, I found it. This is Polyrum Plenty's right here. Uh, it's not really ever what I ever hoped to achieve. I don't think I would ever get that big. Ever. I'm a little bit too niche. A little bit too... Uh, my way with words is somewhat not brilliant. And I don't play to the crowd at all. I do this because I want to. I mean, if, it, if it's all I did, like I suppose the guys who's their jobs and stuff, I'd probably be a little bit more. All right, I've got to be more audience engaging. But uh, right now I just badly read things on the internet to a game that I really enjoy playing. I would like to play more stuff. I just simply don't have the time not with the editing and all all that other stuff that you have to do with it. I'm fully exploring this place. You know what I'm doing. And this has been a very rambly episode. I do apologize. Let you know I'm tired. I, I did an early shift. I've, I've talked about it in previous epi episodes, but uh, I tend to not be very good when I'm doing early shifts. Getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning. It's 3 o'clock now, so I've been away for quite a while. Plus, I've done a full shift at work. It's not fun. A new port. The recruit are eager to see what it offers. That was a very strange noise. First thing I'm going to do is see if I can get any bargains. Yes, we can. Uh, then we're going to drop off the literature. Savage secret. The ringmaster beams with delight as he inspects your final volume. Looks thoroughly dreadful, he says cheerily. Just the thing to invigorate our next performance. The new big top shop. I can't even remember what they sell here. They, apparently they just sell supplies and Brunswick. Oops. Now, there is a low, apparently, I've done this a few times now, the, uh, the quests here. And they were like, not timed, but they constantly reset. And I think they were kind of timed. If you didn't do them after a while, things got a bit weird. I was told they rebalanced this like five patches ago, and I haven't done it. So I may be interested in doing some of these. But first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can get a pet. A tattered poster by the station advertises the services of Mr. Miranji, purveyor of fine scouts. An accompanying picture displays a tall, cloaked figure, slightly stooped, clutching an array of a... Uh, adorable little beasts, close to its long chest. He will move after I visit. Okay. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, I can get them all! Um... The bloody hell. Listen to the story of things past. Show Mr. Maragi the seal of Mr. Barleycorn. Should I be worried about this? The cloaked figure looks up as you approach. Its garnet-hued eyes gleam from the darkness of its hood. Pets, it rasps, hopefully, in a voice like a cleaver on a whetstone. We trade pets for things and stories. It leans closer to you. We're leaving soon. 
So let's see if what we can get. I'm kind of tempted by the gerbil. The gerbil in a hat. I don't know if it's actually a gerbil. Looks like a gerbil. It's a guinea pig. Close. Close. I should have just read the text. Uh, a star smitten bat. It nestles in the crook of Mr. Moranji's neck, burbling happily. Its eyes gleam with a pale fire, like one who has looked too long at a star. The star smitten bat has good range, off, returns after finding one discovery, and conveys little information about what it finds. It requires mirrors of 25 or more to use. Okay. The intrepid cavy a large guinea pig wearing a plumed helmet is dozing in a hutch it is sleeping next to an intricate mechanical bat the intrepid cavy has good range returns after finding one discovery but conveys more information about what it finds it requires mirrors of 50 or more to use i do not have 50. i don't even know what i have oh i think about it i have no idea what my mirrors is off the top of my head And then you've got the, the Ratanaut. The rat in a cage at the top of the pile is wearing a miniature sky suit and a very determined expression. The Ratanaut has good range, can find up to three discoveries before returning, but can face little information about what it finds. It requires mirrors of 75 or more to use. I don't even know if I can use the Star Smitten Bat. Well, I'm going to get it. He moved. Damn it! I kind of wanted to do the the barley corn thing. Damn. Where's he going? We journey to the feasting hall of an old master. Its ruins have outlived it. Ooh. The first thing that comes to my mind when I re hear that is the House of Rotten Chains. In Eleutheria? Hmm. Let me know if you know where that is. Uh, I might be right, I might be wrong, but if you do know, please uh, let me know down below in the comments section. Very helpful. I don't. It's 28, I don't really have time. I know I've, I haven't really achieved much in this video, and I apologise. Let's see if we can equip the bat, because I want to get rid of this defiant... Bat, I hate the bastard. Damn it, require I don't have 25 mirrors. Ah! Wait, wait, 20 plus 9, that's 29, right? Can I not equip it? Way. Oh, is that better? <laughs> I don't actually know. That's brilliant. Well, anyway. I am going to end this episode here. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Any comment is greatly appreciated, unless it's a nasty one. And as always, I'll see you next time.